How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today I'm going to talk about field fighting. We're going to talk about how many kills, uh, well I guess kill points I've gotten so far this KVK because I'm not exactly sure how many kills I have anymore since I uh, surpassed 30 million and it doesn't really keep track. But I'm going to go over what I've been doing, uh, what works, what hasn't been work and what has really, and I'm not a huge fan of this term, but what has been a game changer and I am serious on that. Um, I know it might not be the most fun to watch during a live stream, but in the future, it's likely that when I'm live streaming in massive murder balls, you're going to see something different. So let's get through the intro and let's talk about it. Here we go. All right, so Contemption, what are you talking about? What's this game changer? First off, let's quickly take a look here. And boom, this was on March 20th, as you can see on the bottom left there. I had 1.747 million kill, or yeah, 1 billion, 747 million kills. Um, now, if I take this back and obviously put it underneath again, boom, that's what we got now. So based on that math, I'm over 800 million kill points so far in this KVK. It's been nuts. It's been all T4 and T5. I'm super happy with my kill points for T5. I've almost killed as many T5 as T4, which is fantastic. It has been the most fun KVK I have ever had. It's been the most expensive KVK I've ever had, but by far the most fun. I'm going to, and I, he's probably going for the gem farmer here. Um, maybe we'll get some fighting in. I don't know. It's been back and forth. I'll go over the map and where we are right now. We're in King's Landing, and it's it's been a battle for sure, to, to say the least. I haven't even been on for all of the um, King's Landing, but for the most part, I've been around doing field fighting and joining rallies and garrisons. Not as many rallies or garrisons as I've wanted to because I want to keep eight full t5 field fighting marches because that is where i have the most uh presence it's where i can help the alliance and kingdom the most by clearing open fields so that our rallies get more reinforcements and the enemy's flag does not so what have i been doing um honestly nothing super different obviously my commanders you know i don't think that's the best place to look i think my commanders have been Pretty much the same as last KVK, but we've had a lot more fighting. But I also have Harold in the mix, so that has definitely helped. Six marches helps. And these pairings have been fantastic. The trades on them have been almost all positive, except for when you're obviously swarmed. Or if you're hitting a Pakal Harold, it's bizarre. I can get like even trades, but nothing better than that. Maybe a little bit more if there's more than just myself swarming. But Pakal Harold is absolutely insane in open field. He's a beauty. Uh, Guan Leo, one of my best marches. Naboo YSG has been my best march. It has gotten the best report so far. Alex and Harold has been great. I usually run them up front because they're nice and fast. Uh, Richard Ethelfled, phenomenal. Nobody touches them. They're debuffing, they're doing AoE damage. It has fantastic. The reports have been great. I love that march. I, I don't know when I'm going to get rid of that march, but it's not going to be anytime soon, and it's fast, which is awesome. Because of the relics, you get 20% march speed with those two combined. It's great. Ramses and Mehmet has been fantastic. AoE damage, you got extra, I believe, health and skill damage. It all adds up, and it really helps. The gear has been pretty decent too, but I definitely want to work on that next especially with the Iconic system. And then we got Constantine and Mulan, which hasn't been terrible. Obviously, some of the reports haven't been the best, but I know they're benefiting my marches other ways, which is why my marches are getting better results. Once Mulan is finished because she's not even expertised, it'll be even better. I know that. But uh, And then again, as well, with Mehmed being finished, I'll have some extra damage as well. So my marches have been great. My gear has been great. I have done the um, iconic crystals in my accessories because, and the reason I've done that is I'm not a rally leader. I'm not a garrison leader. If I was an archer rally leader, I would have done the boots, the pants, and my two accessories. Without a doubt, makes the most sense. You're getting health. On all four of these, you're getting health. 
and that's huge as a rally leader, especially with archers. Oh, we're launching a rally. I know that's cavalry, and I legit have like less than 200,000 cavalry, so I'll just go help in open field. Um, but because I'm not a rally leader or garrison leader, I split them up between my accessories. I think that's the best. I don't think there's really a better way. Let's just see where that... No, that's here. Where is he going? Hedge is not far from my city. They're not protecting it. What's inside? We'll take a look and see what's inside before we start moving over there. We've got the potato Pringles over here, and he that dude hurts. He legit hurts. Max Crystal Tech, he just hurts. I don't know if we're going to be following this rally. I don't see anyone else coming up. Maybe it's just some random troops in there. What do we got? Yeah, we should just be smacking that, but... I'll leave it be for now since I'm recording. Okay. Uh, obviously, anybody who's field fighting, you should be using your 10% troop defense or troop attack defense in Season of Conquest, I believe is the best. I've talked about it in uh, different comment sections. People have suggested it, saying it's the best. I agree. It's been phenomenal. Troop capacity, 50%. No-brainer. Make sure you always have a rune, either troop defense or health depending on what you have if i had 10 percent health i would have grabbed it but there's only 10 percent defense that i can find that's not like 30 minutes away and i'd rather have my six marches out persian dream great healing speed i can't imagine how many speed ups that has saved me and i think that's about it there's nothing else i can do there obviously your commander window helps a little bit make sure that's up to date uh, again gears on um what else is there for field fighting um nothing no real other benefits you can get from buffs but the amount of resources i have used in this kvk has been crazy i've used all of my level one resource pack C's. i had over a million i used all of my other ones from barb forts i had over like 120,000. i still have a lot of resource items and as you can tell i have a lot of resources because i just cleaned out all my farms, including RSS items, I open them all and I um, I use the trading post to send them over to my main account. I think considering where we are right now in King's Landing, kind not even at the halfway point, we're kind of stuck on the east side here. We've got our allies down south. Uh, I wonder if they're burning. No, it's kind of back and forth. This one's not burning, so hopefully they're launching a rally on that, but their fortress is burning. So it's been pretty back and forth. Uh, ROOJ, I believe, is fighting right now. No, we're losing there. So it's it's been back and forth all day. Uh, we were doing good at the beginning, then we got pushed back, and then we pushed forward again. No idea how it's going to end. It's all going to depend on stamina, who can endure this the longest. And uh, I have no plans on slowing down anytime soon, as you can tell by my resource items. As you can tell by my speed ups, I have lots of universals to go through still. I've used quite a few, obviously. Um, I don't know if I have a previous video showing exactly how many I've gone through, but uh, I still have a lot left. And I'm totally fine with using all of these speed ups for healing. I know I can use them for troops later on, but. I've got 1.3 million troops coming back to me and I'm still at 80 million. So I don't think I need to hold on to any universal speed ups. I'll gain more as we go. I'll get more healing speed ups for next KVK. And I don't think I'm going to see a fight like this anytime soon. Okay. So we've gone over everything I have. It's been super expensive. I passed the 30 million point uh, a long time ago. I have no idea what I could possibly be at now. Where is 30 million kills? There's 20 million and there's 30 million. I passed this a long time ago. No idea how many I've actually gotten. Uh, I would have to find out through here, but I don't know when the last time is that I actually looked at this in a recording that I could pull up. Uh, France has been phenomenal for speed ups and for troop health. And because I have four infantry marches, Again, your civilization really matters. And of course, the uh, I already talked about the Iconic Crystals. I can't say enough about that. It did just, we did just get an email from Rise of Kingdoms, uh, Q&A. So this is something we're talking about while we're here. And then I'll talk about 
how I've gotten so many kills and what has been such a game changer in the way I field fight. Phenomenal. Uh, when will the Artisan Forge event be open? So it sounds like we're only going to get two iconic crystals every KVK. Which is not what I thought, to be totally honest. I thought we were going to get these a lot more, kind of like how they released the relics. You know, it was slow at the beginning and then they made it a lot easier to get. So they could change this, but it sounds like they're talking about two each time. I, I don't know, guys. I think it's going to be more. I think maybe we'll get two from an event like this, uh, Artisan Forge. But they also added it in Lost Canyon. So does that include Lost Canyon? Because I got two from, oh, sorry, in the shop here. I got two from Artisan's Forge. Right? Or did I get four? Maybe I got four from there. And then it'll be two each time. But then you get some, you get at least one from the shop. Right? The Canyon shop. So I don't know if it's going to be two every KVK, guys. I really don't. I know that's what they say on there, but I think there will be other ways to get it. Are they rallying? What are they rallying now? Oh, old Greg is sitting over there. Oh, where is this? Oh, they're pushing out of their zone four. Gross. Ugh. Whatever. As long as people join that rally and they go and light it on fire, so be it. Uh, Crystal Tech, of course. This KVK... I actually haven't spent as much this KVK as I did last KVK, and I've done really well. I've done much better than last KVK, mostly because I wasn't focusing on being a rally leader. I was focusing on field fighting now. Um, it's not great crystal tech. I know some whales have this finished already, and that's huge. Like, you're gaining that 3% at the very last one. That's a lot of damage increase. So, I don't think my crystal tech's phenomenal. I think I could spend less next time and get just as much crystal tech and be able to do the same thing next kvk as i have this kvk i just have to make sure i'm attending to my farms as much as possible because the amount of resources has been crazy absolutely crazy the speed ups are no comparison to the resources you use it's been absolutely nuts but what has been the biggest benefit to my game oh look at this Maybe we can go look. It's fighting like this. I'm not I'm not joking. Fighting like this has been insane. When you're fighting, when it's a murder ball and you're fighting close like this and it goes into the simplified graphics, you can't even see people's names. You can't you can barely click them. You're double clicking and trying to oh that guy was doing something silly. You're double clicking now with the PC version. You can literally hit one of the pre-select buttons that you do. It's F1 and F2 right now. Whether you want it just on, really? Okay, sure. Whether you want to choose all of your troops, which I believe is F1 right now. Did he die? No, he jumped in and out. Okay, but this is what I've been fighting like. Honestly, it's been fantastic. I'm going to get great trades from this. I don't even know who I'm... Now, that is one negative is you don't know who you're fighting. Oh, okay, sure. I just want to keep popping in and out. Um, you don't know who you're fighting. So sometimes you will realize that you're hitting a Pakal. Like 100%, you'll just, the march won't die. And your marches will, you'll you'll see the bars go down. And you're like, all right. All right, this is most likely not, you know, a Naboo or uh, a Ramses or pretty much anyone. Even an XY Nevsky goes down super fast when I'm hitting them with six marches. But fighting like this, the lag is way less. You're able to, and I'm sorry I don't have a recording of it, but in a murder ball that would be as big as the arrows here, you can pick off marches so easy. Even when they're clumped together like that, as long as you're touching somewhere on the red, it selects it. It's so good. People who get dragged in even... You know, a second into the murder ball, you can pick them off right away. There's no lag anymore. It, you might get a little bit when you're finishing a march and all of a sudden it kind of delays as your troops get rooted back. But oh, I'm telling you guys, it's been huge. I don't even want to fight on my iPhone anymore. I did it earlier when I was at my kid's jujitsu class. 
I was fighting and it's awful fighting on my iPhone now using my fingers to double tap and hope that you know my marches are getting all selected and that I'm not lagging out or if I have a march going for a rune I'm kind of getting screwed because I keep pulling him back when I'm double tapping for this man I just have tab selected for everything on screen and I never have to worry about that I don't have to worry about pulling a march out of a rally I don't have to worry about any of it so I wonder what these trades are like I'm sure they're doing fine what kind of who am I fighting oh oh yeah my trades will be just fine that is one th oh and a salad and this is great um but that is one thing you can't tell who you're hitting but with my marches i'm honestly not even concerned about hitting my call herald i'm really not it it doesn't feel good for either of us our trades are pretty much even he's taken a lot of severely wounded and so am i it's uh honestly guys i know this is more boring to watch but wow the amount of return you get on the oh yeah this guy got just oh just <laughs> like Richard Ethelflaed obviously his troop counts low and it's T4 so obviously it's going to be good but I'm telling you these these marches have been fantastic I can't wait for CPO 2.0 but then I'm just lo losing Leo out of the mix so it's not really going to change my lineup for primary commanders but I I am blown away by the pc version and fighting like this in murder balls i highly suggest you try it if you are struggling on the iphone or really any device you're using use the pc version and and fight like this it is kind of like you're playing an old school like i don't know atari game I, i'm aging myself there i get that let's call it nintendo 64 for you know you younger generation there um, but it's fantastic. It really is. It's helped my game uh, phenomenally. I have nothing but good things to say about the PC version. I, ex I should take that back. The chat. The chat is laggy. Especially as the, as a, the longer you play without closing the uh, PC version and reopening it, the laggier chat gets. So the more you open it, it's like it saves all that history until you close the app and reopen it and then all of a sudden it's like it's erased the history and it's not trying to cycle through all the old chat so there is still that bug i'm sure they're going to update it I'm sure they're going to fix it and we'll get emojis maybe one day would be great we have these ones but we don't have every other emoji and we can't see emojis either like i don't think uh i can't even show you an emoji uh yeah like emojis right there just ale and this guy all it shows, I don't even know what emoji it is. So I'm sure they're fixing it, but I highly suggest using the PC. I know that kind of ruins the point of it being a mobile game, but you can still do barbs and gem farming and, and whatever else you want to do. But for straight up PVP murder balls, guys, and even Ark of Osiris, I'm going to do this in. I don't think it'll be as big of a deal on that. But when you're talking hundreds of marches together in a battlefield, being able to pick them up, pick them off precisely and quickly especially when you're choosing ones that are closest to your marches so you can instantly swarm them it's been fantastic uh, i can't say enough good things about it but there you go guys that is how i've gotten over 800 million kill points this kvk i'm still blown away by it i do 100 know i should have more kill points than 2.5 billion considering my age Considering I've been playing this game for 1,227 days, I should have more kill points. I honestly should. It's a combination of how many accounts I have. So my focus has changed to not being a huge spender. I'm only VIP 16 to, you know, not having that many KVKs where there's been hardcore war or where we've been completely dominated and you're not getting any return on your kills or your fighting anyways. So obviously there's a lot of excuses I could use. I'm working on it. I should be I should be above 3 billion without a doubt and I'm going to get there. I don't think it'll be this KVK. I don't know if anybody has enough juice left for another 400 million kills, but uh, if I can, I will try and we'll see where it goes. Uh, I will live stream this long weekend. I have Friday and Monday off because it's holidays. It's Easter, or it's Good Friday and Easter Monday. I get both off. Oh, are we being called somewhere else? 
no, nope, not being called somewhere else. People are just getting bored. Yep, just getting bored. So if there's war, I will be live streaming either on this account or my KVK Season 1 account or my account in 2396 that's going to be going into Light versus Dark soon. So stay tuned, guys. Please do hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you for checking out the video. I hope you've gotten something out of this. And see you later. Bye.